Life has been difficult for me lately. I have had to face some challenges that I honestly never thought I'd have to. These challenges have made me really evaluate where I am and where I want to go with my life. It's no secret that a lot has been changing in my life over the past few years. I've been moving away from a lot of what I used to think mattered, and I've been focusing on what's most important to me, which is my family. When I'm dealing with some darker days, I find myself focusing on the simple moments in life, like a warm cup of tea, an old vinyl on my record player, a candlelit dinner with my family. Focusing on the little things helps me bring my focus to the things that are happening right in front of me instead of focusing on the past or on the future. I tend to overthink much of the time and I can really create some unnecessary turmoil for myself. I'm a very sensitive person that hides behind a sarcastic demeanor. I'm sure someone with a background in psychology would suggest that this is some sort of coping mechanism that I've learned just to deal with past trauma. They're probably right. I tend to get more quiet and like to be alone at times like this. I'll get comments that I seem quiet, but to be honest, I really just don't have much to say. Even in my darkest hours, I know that there will always be light. Sometimes the dark lasts for a few days, a few weeks, or sometimes at its worst, months. But the light always returns. So I always encourage myself to be patient and wait. And it gets better. So I ended up settling with chili. Um, also, I wanted to make fresh bread because my girls are so picky now because they are so spoiled. And when we have like soup or chili, they'll be like, is this your bread? I'm like, no, they're like, oh, never mind, I don't want it. That's just to let it sit on there and melt a little bit, and then it spreads really good. Well. Yep, that's the trick. Yeah. Or the rolls. Nobody tried it yet. I don't find it. Just kidding. Ah! What? Is it good, Dill? As always. You hit it in less than an hour. Typically, when I make bread, I, it's like an hour and a half. This is cold. Oh no. Mm. The cube is too much? 
Yeah, Get it out. Good afternoon, you guys. I am trying to get a few things done outside. It's pretty warm out for Wisconsin. We still have a lot of snow, but it's I think it's like 42 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm basically out here, one, because I am seeing if the chickens can free range together. We had a little bit of a situation with one of our chickens. One of our chickens actually packed another one and she was bleeding pretty bad. So we had to separate them. It was this whole ordeal. So I am I'm basically kind of letting them hang out. I don't think I'm gonna let them sleep together tonight, but I just kind of want to be able to watch their behavior. So they're doing that. And while they're chilling and pre-arranging, I am actually going to be working on my garden. I have a couple beds with hoops on them that I want to put plastic over. Right now they're filled with snow. So I really need to get the plastic over them to kind of help uh, melt the snow and create a little bit warmer of an environment. Okay, come on. try to at least be able to cover each of them once, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna try to double it up right away. This seems like it's super heavy. So I'm pretty excited, honestly, about that. My biggest challenge will be figuring out how to anchor it so it doesn't blow off. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> So I obviously did it. I didn't have enough to fully double them, so I really just kind of doubled the top over and I used whatever materials I could find, bricks, pavers, hay bale, wood, anything to kind of hold it down. If I don't have to buy anything, I much prefer that. So, not bad. This bed over here looks weird. I think it's because it's so much wider than the other one. So yeah. I am thinking about growing peas in this furthest one because it is attached to a trellis. Although I might have to take out these garden beds to basically fit all of my new garden beds in here. So I really don't want to have to take it apart, but I also want it to look nice. I might be able to do it where I line these up. Next to it, I have five. So we'll see. But anyway, pretty happy with this for now. Once all the snow is gone, I'll be able to put the rest of my beds together. The thing that stinks too is we have, we had two trees removed right there where that stack of wood is. That's kind of the remnants of it and we have another one over here. So our ground is super uneven. So that's gonna be interesting, but I'm very happy with that. I need to go inside, start getting ready for dinner. I don't know if I should bring the other chicken in or not. It's like so hard because whenever you're new at something and somebody else has done it, they like to tell you the way that works for them, which I totally get it. They're trying to be helpful, but you're bombarded with like multiple different things that you're supposed to do. So, we're just kind of winging it. Who's that other buff? Oh, she's in there. You good girl, so you can still see some black on her comb. Penny, get. I have to ask Charlie what he thinks about leaving Hillary out in the coop tonight because we typically like to make these decisions together because if we make the wrong decision, um, at least we did what we thought was best, if that makes sense. I'm gonna make, get some dinner rolls going and then, I don't know, some sort of soup probably.